So what are the steps for buying a property if you don't live here in the United Arab Emirates, if you are not a resident of Dubai? So this video will help you go through the steps one by one to make sure it's really, really clear. The beauty is every nationality on the planet can purchase and own a property here in Dubai. It doesn't matter where you're from, what language you speak, or what color your passport is, everybody is welcome. And the best thing of all is that all of the property that is on my YouTube channel and that you will always see advertised in Dubai, 99.999% is freehold. So some of you sometimes ask me that on the telephone. You don't need to ask that because I would only deal with freehold property. So what is the first step? Well, the most important thing is to choose who you're going to work with, your real estate agent. So you need to make sure that they are a licensed real estate agent um, and obviously that you get on with them and you trust them. They are professional. They are in Dubai. That's very important. There's a lot of real estate agents that pretend to be in Dubai and they're not, um, and that they have experience on the ground. So I have been here for 10 years, uh, living in Dubai, working in Dubai as a real estate agent. So you're in very good hands working here with me. Now, the next step is very, very important. Um, we can't have real estate without where, you know, the funds. So where is your money coming from? And it's very, very important. So are you going to be purchasing as a cash buyer or are you going to be getting a mortgage? in your home country or are you going to be buying a property on a payment plan over a couple of years? It's very important that you are clear on this. And of course, with your agent, with myself, if we're working together, we will go through that from the very, very beginning of our conversation. So if you're a cash buyer, that's easy. Um, if you are getting a mortgage in your own country, that's great. It is almost impossible to get a mortgage here in Dubai if you are not a resident. So the way around that is that you would have to become a resident in Dubai first. Um, some of my clients have also set up businesses with me. Um, I've helped them to set up an LLC, um, in which case they've then been able to buy the property through a business. Just so you know, setting up a business and getting a bank account, although you're promised with these adverts, it takes, you know, three or four hours. It's really about seven to nine weeks minimum. OK, including the, the business setups easy, but getting the banks in town and setting up the banks is very slow. So and of course, if you're seeing a property you want to buy right now and you've still got to wait three more months, then you're going to miss out on that opportunity. So a lot of the time, option three is the best, which is buying on a payment plan, a property that is not yet ready. OK, now, if you're a cash buyer, be aware that you can only purchase property in Dubai in our local currency, which is the dirham. So they then what happens is I would involve you with a local government appointed escrow handler. Um, they are a conveyancer, lawyer and handle all monies coming from overseas for all my clients. Um, I've been working with this particular gentleman from Australia for over 10 years. Um, he's absolutely trustworthy and he deals in all monies from my clients in and out of the country in terms of purchasing and selling. Because of course in COVID that's how we had to operate anyway. Um, and just so you're aware, you can also appoint these people as power of attorneys. One thing to be very, very, very clear on is as real estate agents, we cannot receive monies. Agencies cannot receive monies. And please do not send any monies to anyone that asks you unless they are a licensed escrow handler. And again, I can go through that with you in detail once we meet. So the next step is, of course, once you are familiar with all your funds, um, you need to know your budget. So how much are you going to be spending on this property? So remember, I don't know you. So a lot of clients say, well, I don't know. It depends what properties you have. I don't have a budget. Every single one of us does have a budget, right? So your budget may be 3 million, it might be 6 million, it might be 20 million, or you're looking for something, you know, 80 to 120 million dirham. So I do very much need to know what your budget is when we first start talking, okay? So have that in mind. The next step is, of course, deciding and letting me, your agent, or whoever you're working with, why you're buying. So this is really important. So are you solely buying as investment, which means we need to make sure the numbers work and the return works. We need to know how long you want to be in this investment for and when you want to exit. Or 
is it also a holiday home? Because if it is a holiday home or potentially something you'll even move into one day, then it's a lot more than just the numbers. It's now an emotional decision and that does change the game hugely in what properties we start to look at together. So be very organized in your mind what you want to use this property for. And the third reason, of course, is that you are moving here and you're buying your future family home. And of course, you know, then that's very much an emotional decision of course, financially too, but you need to know that you love it. You want to be sitting in there every day with your family and it works for you. Now, after that, we also need to understand what type of property you're looking for. So are you looking for an apartment? How many bedrooms? Uh, Or maybe it's a townhouse because you really want some kind of outside space. Um, Or are you looking very much for your own villa? And a villa I define as a property that you can walk all four sides around. Okay, so you've got your own garden. People can come in and out of the garden without going through the main house. Whereas a townhouse, generally, people probably have to go through the front door to get to your garden. So there are very, you know, it's very, it's very good to understand what type of property you're looking for. And for some, of course, that is, you know, controlled by the budget. And you might be looking just for a beach mansion or even something on an island. So I have something for every budget. And then we need to understand your location choice. Okay, now if it's an investment, then there'll be strategy to this because, of course, we want to know which which locations command the highest return. We know that's going to be beachfront, city, waterfront, golf course. Okay, Um, but now if you are moving here as a home, you may need to be nearer the schools uh, or you may want certain facilities for the children parks, outdoor areas. Um, You may be a city person, you only want to be in the city, or you may be like me, more of a country bumpkin, you want more greenery, more parks, potentially the ocean as a view. So again, this is entirely up to what you want. And you know, budget does control that as well. Now, at that point, we need to ascertain what is your timeline to actually put down a deposit. So this is where the money starts to talk. So if you're looking right now and you want to chat about looking in the next six months, then absolutely delighted to meet with you and have a chat more about that. If you're looking and you want to purchase the next sort of, you know, seven days or less, um, we need to hop on a Zoom call pretty quick or a phone conversation to ascertain how we're going to do that. Okay. Because we cannot book a property without having funds in the country. So that means that if you were looking at a property and you needed to put down a 10% deposit because we've just found this amazing villa for you and there's about three other buyers all looking at it today, do you have your funds in country? So that's why once you're working with a real estate agent that you can trust, um, we will help you through the process and the steps to make sure that when we're going out to look at houses, you are absolutely ready to act in that minute, okay? Because these properties are flying off the, the shelves. Um, and not just that, but prices keep going up. We are lacking some properties um, and especially townhouses and villas if you want what you want and you want that price, you're not going to get the same unit or the same price even seven days later. And that is not a joke. Okay. Um, I'm also looking myself, I'm in the market for a townhouse. So I'm speaking out of personal experience that prices, even in the last four weeks, and I'm watching them carefully too, are going through the roof. So once we've had that Zoom call, we've had a chat, we know exactly what we're looking for. Um, We then, obviously I can send you details and videos of the properties. Then we need to arrange your visit, okay? So when are you actually flying into Dubai Um, so that we can then ascertain viewings? Now, you may also say, no, Lucy, I don't need to fly into Dubai. Uh, With your help, we'll do everything sitting here in wherever we are. Of course, that's what we did in COVID, so that's quite normal too, so don't worry about that. So then we need to decide, right, if you're in country, we go and see the property. And if you like it, then we need to write a 10% deposit check in Durham that day to the owner. Okay. I mean, it can be the next day, but you could potentially lose that property. That's the only thing. It depends which properties we're looking at. Some more in demand than others. So that is why we'd need to have already appointed the escrow account agent um, who is licensed to receive monies. And then he can write a check in Durham that he hands to me as your real estate agent. I hold it. And then I show the seller and the seller's agent um, so that they know you were serious, you were committed, and that property is now booked. 
and it is off the market and no one else can purchase it, okay? That is why money talks. Now, if you are not present, then obviously you can see it's pretty much a similar scenario in that you still need to appoint that escrow account um, agent and you need to send the funds here to Dubai. And then, you know, once I'm there on the video showing you the property and you're like, okay, Lucy, I want to book that property, then we can get that check raised very quickly from the local escrow account holder here in Dubai, okay? Because money talks. We cannot book a unit on a passport only. We cannot book a unit saying, yes, the money's coming in 24 hours. It doesn't work like that in Dubai. That property just could simply have sold, okay? Um, now, if you are here in Dubai, we put the check down. We don't cash that check, okay? That check is held by the seller's agent. It is not cashed. Now we draw up the sales and purchase agreement where you, the buyer, sign the agreement stating you're going to buy with the seller who states they are happy to sell to you, okay? That is a legally binding contract. Then within that time frame, you've now got up to 15 days to then receive all the, bring the funds, the rest of the funds into Dubai from wherever they are in the world. Um, and then we'll all go to to the Dubai land department on transfer day, approximately 15 days later. And that is where monies and keys are exchanged. And you are now the new legal owner of the property. Okay. Now, if you're not here in Dubai to do that, the process is almost the same, but the escrow agent can also be your appointed power of attorney. Um, and they will do everything with myself present as your real estate agent. Um, and we will be at the Dubai land department to do all the transfer and receive all the paperwork and the process on your behalf. So you don't need to come here on the plane if you don't need to, uh, if you, if you know, work, work doesn't permit or, or whatever. And I know for some of you traveling, you know, it takes a lot of time out of your business. Now, there are exceptions for that 15 days. If you are for however, you, if you have managed to get a mortgage here in the country because you've become a resident, you've now opened a business or what have you, then a mortgage does take up to 45 days to do a transfer. That's not a problem. Sellers understand that here. It's all written into the contract. Um, obviously, then the transfer is 45 days later, which means you can potentially now fly in or again, you don't have to fly in because we would have your power of attorney here authorized to do that alongside myself here at the Dubai land department. Okay. The only other exception, of course, and it makes it all a lot easier is if you're not buying a property that is owned by a private owner. So you're buying from the builder, the developer, then it's very simple. You really don't need to be here because it is as simple as booking with a credit card online, direct to their bank account. Um, and how easy is that? You don't need a power of attorney. You don't need an escrow agent. Um, I'm here to obviously have, have held your hand through which property we're going to choose, etc., and book, um, and then you you send those funds through immediately. So everything is a lot faster and easier when you are buying an off-plan property and you are paying directly through the links that I will send you as your real estate agent um, direct to them. So much easier process that can take literally one hour or less, very fast. There's no 15 days, 45 days process. Okay. Now, if you are buying a property from a builder direct, then you would first of all have signed a booking form the day that you've actually put down your deposit. And then within 15 days, the developer will send you through the sales and purchase agreement, which you will read and sign. So now legally, you are the owner of that property. However, once you have signed that sales and purchase agreement, it needs to be sent back to the developer and they will then uh, give you the okud. And an okud is the name in Arabic for a title deed for a property that is not fully paid or it's still off plan. It's still under construction. So legally, the absolute document you need is an okud. It's a title deed for an unfinished property. Okay. And as your real estate agent, I ensure that we make sure that we facilitate that you get that okud. Now, the only th other thing that you need to be aware of is that if you are here at present and you're buying a secondary market property, that okud comes to you at the Dubai land department on the day of transfer. And it's extremely fast. It's usually with you within 30 minutes. So we're all sat there. You've done all the funds exchanged. Um, well, you've exchanged the funds to the Dubai land department. Sorry, you haven't given anyone any monies yet. You haven't given keys yet. It's all with them on their table. Um, and then the 
minute the Orkut is published online and you get an email as buyer and the seller gets an email as seller, then the funds are handed out, the keys are handed out. So everything is done within the same minute. It's superb. It's very well organized here in Dubai. Um, so very, very secure. So hopefully that takes you through the process purchasing if you are not living in Dubai and this is all very new to you. Please don't worry. I'm here to hold your hand and take you through all the steps from A to Z. I've bought property here in the Gulf as a British expat. I'm about to buy another property. So I absolutely feel like I can take you through this process comfortably and, and reassure you that there is nothing to worry about. So if you like this video, press like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos videos and I would love you to share this video with at least two friends that you believe should also be watching to understand more about the steps to buy property if you don't live in Dubai. And for those of you that speak French and Spanish, uh, si vous parlez français or si hablais espagnol, también hablo espanol et je parle français. So I can also help friends and family in those two languages. Thank you so much for watching and speak soon.